Pilates with Sunbeam. This is week four, and I am so glad you're back for more. Today we're gonna get right into it, our usual routine. We'll do a warm up, get our bodies nice and warm and ready. But I would like us to start this week with three collective breaths, just to get our, ourselves grounded and to feel a little bit more present for today's workout. So join me in a comfortable seat, whatever is comfy for you. You can close your eyes if you'd like. I like to. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get any little wiggles out that you need. And on an inhale through your nose. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more. Biggest breath you've taken all day. Nice. Go ahead and bat your little eyes awake. <laughs> Open. All right. Let's go ahead and do a little shoulder roll. We're just going to get those shoulders nice and relaxed, ready, loosened up for a warm up, for a workout. For everything. <laughs> okay, let's do a few neck circles. Now we're going to do connect these with our breath. So on an inhale, we'll prepare and on an exhale, we'll drop our necks, looking down and begin a gentle circle, whatever direction. And one more circle in this direction. And go ahead and switch directions. We only have one neck, but. <laughs> Sorry, I make myself laugh at stupid jokes, but good thing I finally have an audience. <laughs> one more, you guys. All right, gently return back to center. And we're gonna go ahead and do a few cat cows, okay? Meet me on all fours. You know what we're doing. We've been here before. And if you haven't, welcome. All right, so knees in line with the hips, shoulders uh, in line with the hands or vice versa. Roll those shoulders back and on an inhale, we're gonna drop that belly. And on an exhale, to cat. Inhale, to cow. And exhale, to cat. One more. Inhale, to cow. And exhale, to cat. All right, you guys. Next, we're gonna press up to a down dog. This is a simple warm up today. We're not doing anything too elaborate, too choreographed. I just want us to feel in our bodies. So um, whenever you're ready, bring those hands forward, meet me up in down dog and pedal it out. Get those legs nice and warmed up. Be sure you're connected to your breath here. And down dog is a great opportunity to connect with your uh, with your spine, with your core. Those are two major points in Pilates to remember to stay connected to is your core and your spine. You really want to have a lot of integrity in those areas, especially in workouts, always, of course, but, um, you know, that's really important to keep those two points nice and intact, and that's going to make for a lot more effective workout. All right. Let's go ahead and wake up some fire in our bellies. We're going to bring our left foot center, drop it, raise that right heel, flexed foot, and on an exhale, we're going to bring that knee center. Hold it there for one deep breath. One more inhale, 
and press back up. There we go. Go ahead and lower that leg. Pedal it out. Go ahead and bring that right leg down center here. And inhale, lift the left. Keeping those hips as square as you can. And exhale, bring that knee center. Inhale. Exhale. And on your next inhale, press back up. And exhale, lower. Nice job, you guys. Alrighty. Go ahead and take one more deep stretch and down dog. We're going to come down to all fours again. While we're on all fours, we're going to do a little arm stretch. We're going to thread the needle. So we're going to take our right arm first, lift out long and strong, and on an inhale, and on an exhale, we're going to thread that arm through, make a right angle with our left arm, and a couple deep breaths here. You should really feel this in the back of your shoulder. Mm. Deep breath in. And on an exhale, gently unravel. Now we'll repeat that on the other side with our left hand. Reach nice, long, and strong forward on an inhale. And on an exhale, thread the needle in. Keep that right angle with your right arm. Really feel that back um, shoulder blade really expanding with your breath. And exhale. One more good inhale. And exhale. Slowly and controlled, come out of it. All right, we're going to do one little active child's pose. Let's bring our knees as wide as the mat. Tops of the feet flat and press back. Reach forward. Give yourself a nice forehead massage, rocking side to side, reaching those, tip, those fingertips. And exhale. One more big inhale. And exhale. All right, you guys. Lengthened, stretched, and uh, ready to get moving. So I'll go ahead and um, walk you through our circuit. We're going to stick with our same structure. However, I'm giving us five more seconds of rest <laughs> this week. So as opposed to 15 seconds rest, I wanted us to have a little bit more of a nourishing break in between each move. And that way we're not rushing into each move. We have a good... Um, uh, controlled, focused uh, transition into each move where you're still getting your full um, full 60 seconds of that, that exercise. So, that being said, let's walk through it. Okay, you guys, like I said, this week it's going to be 60 seconds on, 20 seconds off, just to give us a little bit more time, smoother transitions. So, let's go ahead and meet. Our first move today is an elbow plank. So, hopefully this is a little bit easier. If you just want to go into a regular plank, you could totally do that too. It's your workout. You get to do whatever you want. I'm just here to guide you. All right. <laughs> so, for an elbow plank, go ahead and come down on your elbows. If you want to do it from your knees, if you, if you, have, if you need a little more um, shoulder support, um, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, come back up to that elbow plank. And we're going to hold that, believe it or not, for 60 seconds, okay? Make sure you scoop in that pelvic bowl. Keep those shoulders nice and broad, those shoulder blades back. And if you want to add a little deeper motion, you can do a rock back and forth. Okay. We good there? All right. Simple yet effective. All right, next we're going to come down onto our bellies. And um, this one, you can just bring your hands comfortable here. 
Um, if you want to uh, just keep keep your your breastbone, your chest raised, lifted, and we're going to do gentle uh, line kickbacks. So if you want to go ahead, I like to keep my toes pointed for this. If you want, you can do a bent knee from here. And make sure for this move, you guys, you have your glutes and your powerhouse engaged, that core engaged. Otherwise, this is going to be some strain on your back. If this is a little too much to have your chest raised, you can go ahead and lower your head, forehead to the ground, sideways, whatever is comfortable. And little baby pulses, 30 seconds on each side. Or you can do it straight leg. I'm giving you variations today. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right. So 30 seconds on each side. I'm going to come up here, experiment with that, and see when I come up here, my motions get a lot smaller. However, I can feel it a lot deeper in that, that glute there, okay? So um, whatever feels right for you, mix it up, but 30 seconds on each side, okay? All right. Next an easy transition. We're going to go onto our side here using our hand as a little pillow, a little support, and our other hand as a, um, what's that called? Like a little kickstand, if you will, and <laughs> just to help us from falling over. Now, it's very important that our structure, we keep our, our little pelvic bowl, our, our belly bowl tucked, and shoulders nice and broad. Shoulders in a perfect line. Once again, like last week, we don't want to collapse back. And we don't want to collapse forward. We want to have a nice, nice parallel structure. Hips stacked and shoulders stacked. And we're going to do hip abduction. So this is also, just like our line kickbacks, this is a nice micro movement. And this is a really good one Ooh, for those side glutes. It's also really good for your obliques. That's going to be what's your control here, keeping you balanced. And 30 seconds on each side. So at home, you can easily just go like this, switch over on your back, roll over and this go this way. But so that I'm not showing you guys my tushy, there's enough of that on the internet already. I'll go this way, <laughs> which is nothing against. That's why we do this, to have great butts, right? No, it's just a perk, but more power to anyone woo, who wants to show their booty, but I'm keeping it G-rated today. All right, there we go. See, if I didn't have, when I don't have my structure in line, it's harder to keep my balance, right? Sometimes, but you just have to be able to 
self-correct, you know? And once again, our double leg stretch. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. One more for good measure. Inhale, expand. And exhale, contract. Nice job. All right, you guys. Ooh, last but not least. Oh, tricked ya. We're staying on our backs. And we're going to do supine toe taps. I've also heard this called dead bug. Um, if a dead bug is twitchy, then that's what we're doing. But <laughs> let's just call it supine toe taps because that's prettier. All right. So we're going to get a nice flat back. So lift that booty. Scoop, scoop that pelvic um, bowl nice and deep in. We're going to keep our shins parallel to the ground. And straight arms is what helps me keep my structure. If you've got this down, if you're a Pilates pro, then by all means, just keep your arms nice and relaxed. This helps me in my incredibly long legs keep um, a good structure. So, all right, on an inhale, exhale. We're just going to kiss the ground with our toes, okay? Just like that. If you want to add a little more heat, you can bring your arms floating. This is level two here. There we go. Otherwise, those toe taps, just keep that structure. Keep that nice flat back. You can have a little space. Just make sure this motion is coming. Powered from your powerhouse, okay? Powered from your core. You're not relying on that lower back, okay? So let's just do a couple more here so we get the feel of it. Tuck those shoulder blades in. Nice. You feel it? Okay. Don't want to get too carried away because we're about to do this three times through. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get yourself a sip of water, any last minute little adjustments, whatever you need to do, go tinkle, whatever you need, <laughs> and meet me back on the mat and we'll get started. Okay, I'm getting that timer started. Remember, we're starting with our elbow planks, okay? Okay, everyone, elbow planks in three, two, one. Lower with control and switch to that left leg. 
just work to the back of your hamstrings, your lower glutes. Whereas our next move, which is to a different muscle group in the same range. Three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and press back to the child if you like. Otherwise, take a couple side to side cat cows. Looking over our tail feather. And meet me on your side. We'll begin with our hip abductions. Make sure you have those, that structure nice and squared off.
there with you. Three, two, one. Woo! Press back into a child's pose. Nice job. All right. Slowly but surely make your way to your bellies. And we'll do those lion kickbacks again. All right. And begin.
10 seconds. Three, two, one. Hug those knees into the chest. Give that back a break. <laughs> All right, you guys. Rock and roll to the top. Let's go back forward. Only one elbow plank left, okay? I'm barely even making it. I don't know why I chose to do that. Actually, I do because I love a good challenge, and I hope you do too. All right. <laughs> okay, elbow plank. It's all about building stamina, endurance. It's a lot of the foundations of Pilates were built on.
20 more seconds. If you want to do your single leg stretches. Otherwise, one more good double leg stretch. And rest. Last 
one. Inhale the cow. Let's go ahead and take a look over our little glutes here, or big glutes. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. And exhale to the other side. And one more nice inhale down. And exhale. To cat. Do a little side stretch in here for that lower back. All right. Let's go ahead and gently make our way to a seated position. We're going to go ahead and do a few more neck circles. Just reminding ourselves of where we started today and how different it may feel now. So, just check in. I've definitely got some good prana, some good energy flowing. I hope you do too. So let's go ahead and inhale. On an exhale, drop your neck your head rather, and begin your circles. And now if you have any tight places, move past it, not through it. Don't try and push through. One more on this side. Your neck is very delicate, very fragile. Be good to it. Let's switch sides. One more big circle. All right. With control, we'll come back center. And let's close with those three breaths again, okay? Wherever you're at, even if you've got to get going, if this, um, you know, is just the start of your day, let's just take three more collective breaths to uh, remember to stay grounded and connected throughout our day, okay? Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Biggest breath you've taken all day. And exhale. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for showing up. I just want to remind you all, no matter where you're coming from, it is just amazing that you're showing up and um, this is a practice for you. This is, um, you know, my little guidebook for you to feel good, feel confident in your body. And, um, and thank you so much. I'll see you next week.